hello, uh, this is a picture of a mystery. <laughs> Mysterious surface and the objects on it. So yeah, the um, this uh, Commander Llama, All Seeing Llama, is, I think he is on Twitch, and uh, he took part in a canon exploration mystery, I think. So, and uh, this is this is an image of one of the scenes on the planet that they found. They found um, obviously there's some listening posts floating around here and there, and then they triangulated as these people do and found out what was going on and, and found this particular scene on the planet. And uh, this is part of it. Uh, there's bits and bobs. There's a crash site. We've got some logs you can pick up. I can be really spoilery and read out some of the content of the logs because it's, it's it's quite old <laughs> so hopefully it's not like too badly spoilery it's um, the mystery is the odysseus vessel the expedition odysseus and uh they've uh, by the looks of it crashed on a planet so uh, this is part of the image that we're seeing uh, they're in a conda they're crashed and uh, they're, they're stranded and running out of food and air and all these things Anyway, so they've got comms links, so they've, they've obviously set up beacons and attempted to get their um, Mayday message out. And things like, you know, at least the SRV is operational. We've set the transponder so someone should find the wreck. We can't wait. We're going to try something. With a little luck, we'll find a settlement or a relay station. Um, I'm not entirely certain whether or not they were successful. There's a few logs as they uh, travel across the surface of the planet attempting to find this settlement by the looks of it. Uh, you can hunt for. This is sort of, sort of the hope of the characters that they might actually find. Hunting out, you know, talking about uh, like uh, man modifying the SRV cargo compartment into a cabin using spare parts from the ship and uh, going on almost like a camping trip type fare. And uh, they're trying to boost the comms output and hoping to pick up, like passing ships might pick up the Mayday. And obviously these guys did because they did it and apparently <laughs> apparently Commander Lama said they did it so quick that Frontier Ant actually had chance to put in as it were the punchline the, res the resolution of the story so they got to the um, the place that they worked it out and there was nothing there <laughs> and, then, and then then it appeared later on which is cool but that shows just how quick the canon are really doesn't it they are so good at this sort of stuff there's some the the, the, the logs are pretty good actually uh, and as usual with the elite logs <laughs> bleak <laughs> It's, it's all good stuff though. I mean, this picture's kind of purpley and, and with that kind of, I'm assuming, the Wolf Rayette star there casting its casting its bluish tinge and on this, this iron rich looking like iron rich planet. This, uh, but um, yeah, I'm not going to, um, I mean, you could probably find it by looking at the, you can, you can Google the Odysseus and find it yourself. Or you can you can go to the the planet and start searching for the logs and things. It's it's Els Hat A six B is where this this scene is. I mean, even if your thing really isn't doing the cannon logs, the crash logs, and tracking down what happens to the adventurers, you can um, you can still enjoy the environment that you're in. I mean, it, it's got some nice visuals to take the odd photograph on. Looks like there might be a little bit of the odd abandoned cargo canister. And you've got this star, this um, brown dwarf there, which is casting that eerie pink glow across this planet. And you've got the blue star in the distance as well. So, so it just is just a really, uh, it's a really striking colour. I mean, it doesn't look like it's in a nebula or anything. It just looks really, it looks really cool. So um, yeah, that's why I spent most of my time just um, trying to show the, the sharp contrasting shadows because you've got these two huge, great big sources of light coming at you. And, and I'm just trying to show these sunset shadows that are being stretched out behind all the rocks and, the, and behind the relay station there, just to, to try and give it a little bit of atmosphere. Well, obviously, atmospheric vacuum. <laughs> so yeah, I ended up tweaking it quite a bit with pencil crayon to try and get a few really dark, clean lines here and there as well. But you can't really avoid that. Other than that, it was just doing dots. <laughs> finish off with the stars and get that horizontal line in for the um, the lens flare yeah anyway I, th I think it's finished um thanks for listening i, I guess <laughs> very patient <laughs>